Hearing Nicola Sturgeon talk on the leaders' debate, you know, I hate the Tories. Well, even I'm going to sit here and I, I'm going to tell you, the Tories aren't all bad. The Labour Party is not all bad. So you they could have see, some policies that are good and some that are bad. And I would vote as an MP according to the wishes of my constituents and according to my conscience for each individual bill as it passed through the House of Commons. And that is the responsible way to act as a politician. So you could vote um, in a way that effectively supports a Labour government without there being a formal deal or a coalition or anything like that? Well, let's look at some of the policies. You know, the Labour government has stated quite clearly that it wants to take people out of minimum wage, uh, uh, people on minimum wage out of tax altogether. That's also in UKIP's manifesto. I'm not going to vote against that. Well, that, that's very interesting then. I mean, you know, um, wh why not consider a, a more formal deal? I think, I think the party's made it quite clear that we would enter into a confidence and supply arrangement. Um, obviously, we'd want to, the budget needs to be gotten through. Uh, we would vote according to our conscience, according to our, what we stand for on our own manifesto uh, as we go forward through the parliament. But we have absolutely ruled out any kind of formal coalition, and I'm very pleased about that. In terms of the kinds of people who vote UKIP, mm. you're trying to draw them from all directions. Mm. What, what, well, about, do, I think. What, what about the racists, the ones who just want to get rid of the, the foreigners? Are they welcome to vote UKIP too? Or would you say we don't want your support? Well, I love the way you, you talk about UKIP in conjunction with racism, no, 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 because I, I see a I huge start, no, amount of racism unfair. in the I other parties. I started my question saying you are drawing the support from everywhere. The mm. question is, do you want those votes? My question to you, Krishnan, is have you asked other party leaders and other party MPs and candidates this question? Oh, have you asked them, do you want people who in the past might have been BNP or National Front or whatever it might be, do you want them to vote for I'm, you? I'm I think it's a happy, very I'm unfair very happy question. To ask those, well, it's, it's not an unfair question. It's about the kinds of people you want to vote for. You Just answer the question. Don't say why I don't you I think it's a very them. unfair question, Faisal. And what I have consistently I'm said throughout... For, for, I'm, for I'm, so, I'm, just, I'm um, so sorry. But, I'm, I've just been talking to Faisal Islam. That's and fine. Just, uh, that's just, fine. Just, and we've been having a nice chat upstairs. He used to work for us. But... But look, it's, there's no such thing as an unfair question. It's a question you either want to answer or you don't, and I don't see why you don't. Well, I think everybody's vote is private. People go into the ballot, uh, ballot box, ballot booth, and they vote for who they want to. Has Nigel Farage got now what it takes, physically, to lead your party? He's now admitted he's on tranquilizers. Uh, I don't think he's on tranquilizers. Well, he's on tamazepam. He's on some, he? some pain painkillers. I'm sorry, I don't know enough about drugs. Well, tama tamazepam, to is what's a, what. tamazepam is a tranquilizer. Okay. As I see it, Nigel is fighting a very good campaign. Um, I've seen him in the office a couple of times this week. He looks very bright and breezy. I have no worries about his health. If Nigel's convinced that he's, his health is fine, then his health is fine. A lot of people are talking up you as the, as mm. the next leader. People are very impressed with your performances. Uh, do, you, do you fancy it? I, I get really bored about being asked this question. I'm really sorry. I find it quite embarrassing. Um, Nigel is a fantastic leader. He has my full support. He is going to win Thanet South. I don't doubt it for a moment. Uh, the polling that's been done very recently shows that. And I, neither I nor anyone else, is in the running.